it's on my hair stop here so this course will be extensively teaching you how to place your closures and how to sew them first the first thing you do first is to place the closure leaving exactly a one inch difference pin from the center in every canvas head there is a straight line running from the back to the front so you find out the straight line you place it directly on the straight part make sure that the straight part aligns with the straight line on the canvas head then you secure your pin secure from the right to the left place holding it firmly after you've done that you start the adjustment you secure the back you pin on the back so as not to have the closure shifting to and fro while pinning the other sides of the closure from the video you can see the back has been pinned you pin the side pin it after it has been pinned you pin the other side as well the reason for this is so that you secure the back whilst adjusting the front side so if this this side is placed and is placed perfectly well you will have a very fit and very firm closure and not the ones that are bumpy so you turn you turn it again adjust and start the proper adjustment once again on pin from the front side draw it a bit further pin it back this is to secure the m shape the reason for this is to get an m shape do the same thing to the other side on pin draw a little further and pin again if you watch closely you see that an m shape has been formed you need the m shape for your closures to be able to fit perfectly and you start adjusting it sideways pinning round pin you place your pin you might see a little space or something you would feel like is going to affect it while sewing. No, it won't. So you continue with your pinning. You pin. Okay, so after you've pinned the side, like what's being shown in the video at the moment. You turn to the other side and pin it as well the exact same way the other side was pinned okay here we go you have a straight a straight closure at one side you continue with the second side okay Okay, you adjust where necessary and you pin down pin down the reason why we are using so many pins is because it's not like the 2 by 6 closure you can actually use a t-pin this is a bigger closure so it needs to be held firmly to avoid after sewing making you to have a bumpy closure pin it down as well by now you're almost getting what it's supposed to look like yes you pin as well and then you go you move to the back sorry you move to the back you secure the back as well don't worry about the little spaces you are seeing it doesn't really matter as far as you've got the m shape you've got the sides you are almost done with what you are doing so you pin yes you pin everything pin exactly okay you're almost done don't give up you're done in the back 
in as much as you would want to as far as is making the closure straight and properly placed so as is being shown in the video she's spinning um, almost every side she doesn't want any any mistakes she doesn't want any stories that touch the hat because one of the things that hurts the most is when you finish placing your closures and sewing it and you are getting something that is entirely different from what it's supposed to be or when you are pinning it is not coming together like the way it's supposed to be so the back is as flat as whatever it's uh, how will i say it i can't describe the flatness at this point in time but it's something that is meant to be and this is the way it's supposed to be so after securing everything and you're sure everything is steady firm and fit you braid it you braid the closure to avoid the hairs getting in your way while you are sewing it or you can get something a headband to hold it together whatever that will be of or anything you can improvise at the moment okay so you braid it and you start sewing together like as is being shown in the video the closure is being braided to avoid the hair getting in the way Oops, that needed to be pinned exactly so it's done and the next phase or the step to be taken now is to sew with your trade if you watch closely from the video you see that the allowance the closure has is kind of big so there is a method I'll use in sewing this closure I will not sew from the edge of the closure that is placed i will sew closer to the hair that's closer to the ventilated hair leaving a little bit of space the space left will be cut out with the scissors afterwards so don't worry in case you don't have this amount of space on the closure you're working on you can actually sew it together but me because there's a, um, plenty of space on the piece of work that is being worked on i will just sew I will sew it closer to the hair that's what is being shown now the sewing is being done closer to the hair and I'm not getting all the allowance I'm leaving some the leftover will be cut off with a scissors because if I should sew everything together once I cut out the closure and, cl and cut out the the cap underneath it there will be so much space for me there will be too much space for me to handle and that's not what we want
okay so it cut off the trade as shown in the video and you have your perfectly placed closure in place watch it so this extra allowance i'm going to cut it off that's why i said you don't i, I won't be sewing together the edges i will sew closer to the hair because of the extra space i left so i will use scissors and cut it off and i'll show you what it looks like without the extra space so that's it you have your perfectly placed closure That's it. I'm, I'm showing you what it looks like now. So we are going to unpin, losing the hair. Space on the extra space on the closure will be cut off. That's the extra lace you can see from the closure on the video. Been cut off now. It's been cut off now. This is what it looks like. So I will pin it and show you, so you can have a clearer view of how a perfectly placed closure should be if the steps are taken so this is what it looks like now this is how it should be straight perfect no bumps and easy to make thank you